you know what, Gerald? Honestly, we, we, uh, we're both, all, most of us here are, are small town guys. I'm from a little town in Arkansas uh, called Strawberry. I mean, it's hard enough. Well, listen to the thunderous applause. It, <laughs> it's a vacation spot. It's you know really what it is. A lot of people spend their honeymoons there at really? Strawberry at the Davy Crockett Motel Feed Store and Convention Center. Yes. But I'm proud of my heritage. You know, I, I, I am a little bit self-conscious about being from a real small town like that and a funny name like Strawberry. I'm not making it up. You can look it up on the map. And Then, to eight years in a row there, uh, we had the President of the United States, you know, from Arkansas, and, and the crowd turns ugly again. Uh, and, you know, I took a lot of ribbon. I took a lot of joking about that. And a lady walked up to me the other night. We were down in, in uh, I think, around Louisville, and lady said, Roger, you're, you're a little self-conscious about being from Strawberry, aren't you? I said, well, ma'am, I'm from a town named after a fruit. You know, how would you feel? And she said, you ain't got nothing on me. She said, I'm from Monkey's Eyebrow, Kentucky. <laughs> so I guess uh, you can count your blessings, that's can't small. you? But we listened. Uh, that old-time music is it's nothing new to me. I mean, that's what we grew up listening, winging my way back home and... Yeah. And I know that we share that in that your daddy, we got a little connection, your daddy is a big-time bluegrass fan, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, he loves it. Yeah, and you know my dad. He, I, I sat with him one night at a, an awards show, and we had a banquet where there was food to eat there. You know, we were eating, and, and there was singing taking place on the stage. Mr. Wolf's back was to the stage, and so he doesn't really care for this progressive new type of gospel music that was going on. And so he sat there and ate his food, had yeah. his back to the stage. Every time a bluegrass artist came on, buddy, he turned around, put he his kidding. pie down, and he watched. He did. He loves it. I wish I could say he watched y'all sing, but he nope, did not. he didn't. <laughs> he only likes one thing we do. What is that? Well, um, you know, I've told you many, many times about my dad's favorite TV show was the uh, Andy Griffith Show yeah. when I was a kid. A lot my, of folks like Andy Griffith too. Show. Yeah. And my dad's favorite singing group used to make special appearances on there, the, the Darlings. Remember them? Oh, yeah. Their real name was the Dillards. And the, but that was my it was dad's. a real group. It wasn't oh. a bunch of actors. Oh, they, were just, they, were, they just retired last year. One of the brothers passed away, and they retired. But they were a real group. My daddy had all their eight tracks. And he used to. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to explain what that is to some well, of these folks. I have to explain albums. I pulled out an old album the other day for my 10-year-old boy. I was going to listen to I bought me a new record player, you know, and I right. pulled out an old Christmas album I was going to listen to. And I said, Ben, do you know what this is? And my boy said, Daddy, that's the biggest CD I've ever seen. <laughs> but but uh, anyway, my dad had all these eight tracks, and it was so important to him, you know, that music. that right. he, he saved up and ordered uh, from the J.C. Penney catalog one mm -hmm. of these great big uh, console stereo yeah. cabinet deals, you yes. know, look like a casket. You right. remember those? <laughs> yeah, I've seen them. And he put that thing right in the middle of the living room up against the wall where the uh, window air conditioner was so it would blow the music all through the house, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was 1960s intercom, yes, you know. <laughs> but anyway... He used to, we used to go to these big outdoor bluegrass festivals, you know, out in a field. Yes. And you'd sit in your lawn chair all day and listen to about 30 groups, and every one of them about the same, you know, <laughs> all these banjos. And let me just say, if you have never gone to one of those outdoor, and I know they have them in Ohio. Sure they do. If you've never gone to one of those big, you know, bluegrass outdoor in the field, summertime, no shade, <laughs> singing, <laughs> God has been good to you. If you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> but, but about seven years ago, we uh, called some guys that we know that play bluegrass, you know, and, and we got them to come in, and, and we recorded the, the Darlings arrangement of one of my dad's favorite songs. And if really? you remember them, you know, they were very serious. Oh, yeah, they didn't crack a smile. They didn't smile. They didn't no. uh, tap their feet. Uh -huh. They just sang. And so uh, we, we duplicated that and put it on a CD for Dad, and that's what he... And he, he loves it. Oh, yeah. So when, are, uh, when you sing it, do you like, not smile, and do you do it like they did it? I mean, just... Well, no, you've got, you got to do it and not smile. I mean, you've got to do it like it's supposed to be done, like they used to do it, or it's not good, you see. Y'all want to see that? I'd like to see that. You don't do it every night, but maybe... No, is it in that book? Yeah, it's in this 401 in here. Yeah. And, uh, And so, now this is the original uh, Dillard's or Darling's arrangement of my dad's favorite gospel song. It's called The Unclouded Day. Oh, they tell me of a home far 
beyond the sky Oh, they tell me of a home far away Oh, they tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise Oh, they tell me of an uncloudy day Oh, the land of cloudless day They tell me that mine eyes shall be whole. Get away from me where he sits on the throne that is wider than snow. Leave me alone in the city that is made of gold. It don't, it don't take much to impress these folks up here, right? No. I'm telling you. I just, I love it, man. I do, too. How in the world, how in the world every night do you stand there with that circus going on beside you? I don't look. 